Welcome to another session of story time with me. I'm Miss Seema and you're watching Seema Story Time. Children, I hope you all are doing fine in whichever part of the world you are. You're safe and sound. You're wearing your mask. You're following social distancing and staying at home. And of course, just listening to our stories. Good to know that. Great children. Children, today's uh, story is a very interesting um, story because it is about pets. We all love pets, isn't it children? And we all love to have pets in our house. We, we want to play with them. We most of the time take them for a walk. Yes, so pets are really dear things and they are our world, isn't it? So yet similarly, in today's story, it's about Kipper's new pet. Yes. Okay, Kipper's new pet. Which means, is he getting a new pet? He has a pet and he's getting another one? I mean, I'm not sure. But maybe, but he is very, very excited with his pet. So that is Kipper's pet. Okay. And he is trying to feed the pet. Is it? A lot of excitement, a lot of surprises inside. So we should not wait further. And we are going to read the story. Kipper's new pet. Let's read the story, children. Children, the name of the story is Kipper's New Pet by Mick Inkpin. Pig was writing the invitations to his birthday party. This was his present list. One, a pet like a rabbit or a guinea pig or something. Two, a little mouse or a gerbil. Three, anything else but mostly I would like number one or number two. He put the names on the envelopes and wondered what kind of pet he would get. When Kipper's invitation arrived he read it and rushed off to the pet shop to choose a pet for pig. The rabbit too sleepy, the guinea pigs too timid, the mouse too shy, the stick insect? Too much like a stick. Boring. But the hamster, the hamster was not sleepy, nor timid, nor shy. And it wasn't like a stick at all. It was perfect. One of these please, said Kipper. At home, Kipper gave the hamster some sunflower seeds. It stuffed them into its cheeks. Are you always this hungry? said Kipper. The hamster ran up Kipper's arm and sat on his shoulder, cleaning its whiskers. Then it ran down the other arm and rolled across the table. You can do a roly-poly, said Kipper. You are so clever. The hamster did it again. The morning of the party, roly-poly woke Kipper by nibbling on his ear. I wish I didn't have to give you to pig today said Kipper. At breakfast, Kipper began to think that maybe he would keep Rolly and buy a rabbit for Pig instead. No, he'd like you better, sighed Kipper. Come on, let's, let's wrap up your cage. Kipper got out some scissors, some sticky tape and unrolled a roll of wrapping paper. Rolly ran into the cardboard tube and popped out at the other end, making Kipper giggle. Then he slid all the way down the tube and rolled across the floor, making Kipper giggle again. It gave Kipper an idea. A big idea. This was Kipper's big idea. It took him ages, but it worked perfectly. 
You are the best birthday present ever, said Kipper. It was then that he remembered Pig's party. Kipper rushed off to Pig's house. Halfway there he met Jake and Tigger coming the other way. Where were you, said Tigger. The party is over. But Kipper wasn't listening. He was thinking about Roly-Poly. I can't stop, he said. I don't think he likes it in there very much. Jake and Tigger began to giggle. Oh no, not another one, said Tigger. I'm sorry I'm late, said Kipper to Pig as he opened the door. I'm, I was playing with your present. He's brilliant, isn't he? Then he noticed that Pig was holding a rabbit, a mouse and two guinea pigs. There was a stick insect, insect crawling across his head. What are those? said Kipper. These are my presents, said Pig. They sat down at Pig's table and Kipper fed Rolly with pieces of leftover party cake. So he is not really what you wanted, said Kipper. He is exactly what I wanted, said Pig, before I had all these. He pointed at his other pets. But it's my own fault. I should have thought of something else to put on my present list. Kipper took a big bite of cake for himself. He is very nice though, isn't he? said Kipper. His name is Rolly Poly because he can do Rolly Polies. He is really good at them and he is always hungry. He keeps his food in his cheeks. Look! Pig looked at Rolly's little fat face. It was his turn to have an idea. Kipper, said Pig, would you do me a favor? Would you look after him for me? Kipper was so surprised, he almost choked on his cake. What? Take him home? You mean? said Kipper. Pig nodded. So he'd still be yours, but I'd look after him? Pig nodded again. Oh yes, said Kipper. He said it so loudly that all of Pig's pets jumped off the table and hid underneath. Kipper picked up Roly-Poly, sat him back down and fed him another piece of cake. Roly-Poly stopped eating for a second, hiccuped and started eating again. The End Well, well, well children. So did you realize what Kipper's friend did? He decided to give the pet back to Kipper because he thought Kipper is capable of looking after that pet better than him. And what was Kipper's reaction? Wow, he was excited and so happy and he was thankful to Pig to give him Roly-Poly so that he can play and look after Roly-Poly. Lovely children, very nice. So children, today I want to ask you a few things. Do you have a pet? Yes, if you do, what pet do you have? Do you have a cat, a dog, a bird, a hamster? What are their names? What all do you do with your pets? What all things do you do with your pets? Great children, I want you to send me all your comments in the comment section below and let me know. We will be very excited to know that. Yes, will you do that for me? Great, thank you so much. Looking forward to all those answers. And yes children, I hope you enjoyed the story and we are going to come back with similar stories again. Till then, from our story room, it's a bye-bye. See you soon.